What's up, what's up guys? It's Eric Haas, EXP Realty in sunny Southern California. The weather is fantastic and you're about to join us on a little ride along as we check out some pocket neighborhoods in Mar Vista. Today, we're gonna check out Westdale Truesdale. I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about it. Alrighty guys, we're going up McLaughlin right now. On the right, we've got Mar Vista Park. Checking it out. We've got soccer fields. We've got some lacrosse there. They also got a hockey rink and they got plenty of spaces for the kids to play with a full on playground. We're in Westdale Truesdale of Mar Vista. There are several pocket neighborhoods within Mar Vista, but I have to say, this is one of my most favorites and we're on my most favorite street, Purdue. As you can see, there's different styles of homes, brand new as we see here. Then we move up one and we've got our original style. And then you've got the single story that's still been maintained, but renovated inside as well. Now this area actually used to be completely bean fields and citrus fields. This was known as the Stevens Ranch. And then in 1947, Mr. Paul, excuse me, Mr. Paul Truesdale uh, got a hold of the land and started developing it with this architect, Alan Stipple, and turned out 450 homes, which is the track that we're in right now, just south of National Boulevard. Now, as you can see, the trees are a little bit more dismal right now, but I tell you, this is really the one street that you can really see the four seasons, because in fall time, these trees are looking amazing with their bright orange colors. Right now it's winter, so they're taking a little siesta. So the great thing about the neighborhood too is that the fact that majority of the homes here do not back up to an alley. You only will back up to an alley once you get over east to the last street in the Truesdale neighborhood, which is Corinth Avenue. Now also, whether these homes have been original or have been maintained, there are some cases where you know you have your little bit of a fixer that still needs to be fixed up, but there's a lot of these homes, as you can see as we're cruising through, that have been completely updated and remodeled. Now homes hit the market that need work, like this one right here possibly, for about 1.6, and that's just the starting price. They usually go up from there. Now homes that are more done, say some of the ones that we passed, unlike this one on the corner, um, they go for closer to 2 million to 2.2 million, depending on how done they are, how big they are. Sorry about the bump, but, um, yeah, they go for around two and a half million. Then once you get to your brand new ones, like this one coming up here on the right, this big modern box with the Tesla in front, you're looking at three to even four million in some cases. So the neighborhood's only going up in value. A lot of people like to move back into the hood after their parents have unfortunately passed on. And- um, Okay, that's my favorite car, the 57, huh? Yeah, it is. Oh. We got some fans and um, a lot of times there's not a lot of inventory in the neighborhood, which again, increases the value like crazy. New homes are also getting about uh, four to five bedrooms and four to five bathrooms and usually facilitate a pool as well as uh, two stories 90% of the time. So another aspect of West El Truzo that I absolutely love is its walkability. As you've seen, we've been going up and down the streets and no, I'm not driving. I got a little uh, help from dad on this one, but the streets are super walkable. You got trees, it's very inviting. And again, this is close proximity to the 405, so it gets you access to anything you'd like in LA as well as the 10 freeway. And you're just about four miles away from Venice Beach as well. Now, in addition to that, if you are a coffee fan, we got Starbucks, Whole Foods, and a number of other great shops at the four corners of McLaughlin and National. Now, if you're wondering about schools, Mar Vista Elementary is the top rated elementary school in the neighborhood. We've also got charter schools and private schools. If you're interested, there's plenty of options to go around. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed this ride along tour. It'll be the first of many. I hope they get better as well. Getting used to this DJI mobile thing that I'm using here makes it real easy to check out the houses and turn from side to side and check out the street. But hope you love this little ride along in Mar Vista. Just want to keep you guys dialed in on everything the neighborhoods have to offer and little pocket neighborhoods within them as well. And you know, if you're looking in Mar Vista or anywhere on the west side, love to help you out. Feel free to drop a comment 
and uh, we'll get it happening for you. Whether it's a buyer seller's market, we crush it no matter what and uh, happy to help you out. So Eric Haas here with eXp Realty and we'll see you on the next video.